episode of the world of Mrs. C. I adore you. Thank you for coming back and joining me here today. Would you like to hear what kind of fun things we're gonna do on the show? Okay, because I really want to tell you. I'm glad I didn't have to ask. We're going to thrift some preparatory clothes for summer. It is right around the corner, and I think that we should have some fun summer stuff in our wardrobe. What do you think? Sticking with the summer theme, we're also going to embellish some sunglasses. Yeah, just get an old cheap pair of sunglasses and we're gonna throw all kinds of goodies on them and make them look spectacular. Spectacle-tacular, right? Just stop me, I know, it's, it's terrible, it's so bad. We're also gonna look at some stuff in my room. Today we're gonna look at the art that I have in my room things that might be hanging on the wall. Uh, that should be fun. And it's something different than we've done before. What are we gonna watch? We're gonna watch the old movie Cannibal Girls. And you may not know this, but a certain Eugene Levy is in that movie. He's a very young man and it is a lot of fun. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I also might do some baking today, so stick around to find out. And if any of this or all of this sounds good to you, then let's go! Hey guys, who is ready for thrifting with their legs? I know I am. Okay, so we're gonna do the summer prep trip today and it is so much fun. There is nothing I love more then when you go to the thrift store and they're starting the new season, which means everything you're seeing that time is brand new to you. And I gotta tell you, I love that. It's so exciting. So I can't wait to show you what I found and I'm not gonna wait anymore. Let's go take a look. Look number one, we're gonna have some summer fun. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this top, I am infatuated with it. This summer prep look, all it needed was a really fun tropical top, right? <laughs> J. Crew, there you go. I love it. Okay, then I'm gonna pair this with some leopard jeans that I already have in my closet. Let's go take a look. Okay, you guys, this first outfit was way too much fun to put together. I love the idea of putting a busy print with a busy print. So of course I went to my leopard jeans because I think leopard is a total neutral. Uh, hit me up and let me know what you think. <laughs> I also added this fun um, painted fruits necklace that I painted. As you know, if you've watched one of my other videos, I've done the wood painted beads and this is how I did this necklace. Um, with some bright blue heels and we're good to go. Look number two, summer's looking good on you. Hello, knit cherry dress of my dreams. Thank you, Forever 21. Actually, thank you to my husband who spotted this for me. I adore it. Who doesn't love a really good knit dress? And this cherry print is everything. So cute, so well made. And since I never go in Forever 21 anymore, <laughs> it's fun to find it at the thrift store. Okay, you guys wanna see what I did? Let's go take a look. Okay, this dress is so cute. I went for zero accessories on this one because I felt like the print itself was enough. Um, also something about the knit. It just felt like it was fine on its own. I did throw on these crazy gold um, ballet type slippers and that made me feel like I had some fancy going on on my feet. Okay, <laughs> this was a fun one. Look number three, summer making you go wee! <laughs> Let's talk about this top that I found, this vintage top with these crazy buttons, <laughs> this insane print that goes from black and white and brown to color. Um, I'm gonna wear it like a top. Of course, you could uh, do it as a dress as well. The slits are quite high. Um, anyway, let me ask you this. Do you guys ever find a piece of clothing and you can't decide if it's hideous or if you love it or both? This falls into that category for me. I instantly found it somewhat hideous, 
but was fascinated by it and kept thinking it was pretty cool. So I threw it with some jeans and I cannot wait to show you what it looks like. Let's go take a look. You guys, what do you think of this? I love it. I love it with the jeans. I threw on this necklace that um, I made with these, um, oh, they're like from elementary school to teach kids about color. I forgot what they're called, but I found some at a garage sale years ago. And of course I made a necklace out of it. Anyway, I think it just kind of gave the um, top a little bit of an update. If I find something looks a little old or old fashioned or not super trendy, I throw something on a little more modern-ish with it or more fun to show that um, <laughs> I know what I'm doing, or at least I think I do. Okay, this was so much fun. Look number four, let's summer through the door. <laughs> Thanks guys. I don't know if you know this about me, but if there's a rainbow top or a rainbow anything, I'm gonna buy it. I love the retro kind of look of this Old Navy um, striped rainbow cotton shirt. I'm just going to throw it with some jeans, cause why not? It's so light and beautiful in these colors. Again, it's just, it screams retro. They did such a good job on this. Wanna see? Let's go take a look. And last but not least, here is that stripy rainbow top that I am in love with. Put it on with some jeans, go-go boots, and another necklace that I made, another painted wood bead um, necklace that I made more fruits out of, cause I'm super into fruit, okay? <laughs> Anyway, this was a blast. I hope you had fun and that you do this as well. Have a great week. Okay, so how did we do? Um, summer prep is a lot of fun. And like I said, it's when you start finding all the things at the thrift stores right before the season that are new and exciting. And I gotta tell you, this top might be my favorite. Um, it's just amazing. And it looks so vintage. That's probably why I'm so drawn to it. Anyway, I think everything that I found was great. Um, really happy with how it paired with the things that I already had. Again, when I go thrifting, I don't always find a full outfit. Sometimes I just find something to throw on with some jeans and, you know, uh, just go from there or whatever. I mean, if I've got stuff at home, and I do, um, I love mixing and matching. I'm uh, not really concerned. So, uh, that was that for this week, and I hope you had a great time. Thanks for joining me. to stuff in my room the art and stuff hanging on my walls edition hey guys here we start in some of the art that i made in some of it we're in it some of the art that i made that's on my walls all nonsense silly stuff and then we get to some vintage sesame street scenes 
Here is a little vintage yellow elephant that I adore. His brother's in my bathroom. Yes, I said my bathroom. <laughs> Here's some more vintage Sesame Street with the count. And this is a box from one of my Hanna-Barbera Rubber Face Plush toys. Um, here's some more art that I did. A little Frankenfurter and um, <laughs> little vampires and swamp monsters. I've got a thing for monsters, you guys. I can't help it. And junk food. So here's another one that I did. This was an altered art piece uh, that I found that I turned into a little Mickey Mouse guy. It's actually a photo of a real guy. Sorry, guy. <laughs> A little um, fun stuff in here. Uh, Porky Pig. Who doesn't love him? And, um, you know, some more cute Mousy Mouse pictures in the Funky Bunch. Don't want to say the big D name. Here's also some sand face art. Uh, little sand, you know, toy that's vintage. A really crazy handmade Mickey Mouse and Pluto. An old Kicks ad. Uh, I'm sorry, tricks. Remember tricks? Tricks are for kids. <laughs> then we have some more art over here. Some old vintage embroidery with that bird with like a little Kangle cap on. I love it. <laughs> uh, there's our favorite elephant. He's just the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. Um, here's my homemade Boopsie Doozy. Not homemade by me, but by Boopsie Daisy. Uh, Jinxie and Trixie plaque. Some vintage frogs and ice cream. My favorite picture ever coming up here, you guys. Uh, the one where this little boy is screaming a secret into this little girl's face. It is titled The Secret, and it's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, Greasy Strangler, my favorite movie of all time, signed by Skype. And then here we go with some vintage everything. Uh, terrifying Big Bird whose beak fell off. <laughs> some more altered art that I did. Some old nursery art. And gosh, I just, I have it everywhere. And my favorite paper doll of all time. She is life-size. She is little Audrey. I love her, love her, love her, love her. There they are, my favorite dwarfs. This was actually on my crib as a little baby. And this should be on the wall, but isn't yet. It is a balloon pumper that was actually on a balloon um, vending machine, kind of like a candy machine. Dr. Leo Marvin, some other old art of a little boy basically choking a little girl. I don't know what's wrong with me. Bill Murray is What About Bob? Best movie ever. This precious greeting card art, The Fonz, as you know. This is a clock I found and actually made over, painted, rhinestoned, put a Cupid doll on top of. I mean, things you do when you find an old clock. <laughs> more vintage greeting card art another altered art piece that i did and some more boopsie daisy art and goodbye you guys the ghost says goodbye hope you enjoyed this segment of stuff in my room to make these amazing lemonilla coffee cupcakes. Okay, here's what I did. I baked a white or yellow cake and then I just cut the rounds with my cookie cutter, wrapped them up so I could see that I had enough for two layers in the coffee cups. And then what I'm gonna do is take my buttercream frosting and I'm going to go ahead, I put some in the bottom, then I put a layer of cake on top of that, and then I piped a middle layer of frosting, as you can see, and then what comes next is the most magical part. You get your jar of lemon curd, and you slather that in there, okay? Get yourself a nice, um, just bright, lemony, Mm, deliciousness. Then you're going to put on that second layer, add some more buttercream frosting on top so it looks pretty, and then make it rain sprinkles. Make it rain, ladies. <laughs> okay, here we go. And gentlemen, and everyone, make it rain. Okay, and then you're just going to put your lid on top, and there you go. You have a gift to give to someone. You have something that co go alongside your coffee. By the way, fits in your cup carrier in your car, so cake in the car yes please we know i love that okay here's mine next to a boring old cup of black coffee 
And uh, I gotta tell you, you guys, these turned out delicious. They're so simple. They're so attractive. Get a cup holder, put a couple different ones in there, maybe make different kinds and uh, bring them as a gift or take them to a party. I, getting together with a friend for coffee, bring one with. I mean, I think they're a great idea. I hope you try them as well. If you do, please let me know, my friends, and have a great day. Are you ready to hear more about the good bad boy? Let's see what Pompeii is up to this week. Monday, September 19th. Was sent to the principal for not having homework. Father Foley begged me off and begged me off and sent me on an errand. I don't know. <laughs> had fire drill this afternoon. I'm not wishing anything bad, but sometime it would be nice to have a fire drill that wasn't a false alarm. This kid is really wishing for some raunchy stuff. Imagine not having to go to school. Suppose they'd get around it some way. Mom went to a card party tonight and Pop went to a meeting. What's a card party? Do you think it's like where they played cards or did they look at different greeting cards and make a party about it? I'm just saying, I don't know. Um, Clara and I made fudge, which stuck to the pan as usual. That sounds amazing. I love fudge and I'm not so great at making it either. So I hear ya. Tuesday, September 20th. Lots of excitement at Terry's house today. Mr. Mann called Mom early this morning. Mom was gone all day and now Terry has a baby sister. Supper was late because Mom was over at Mann's. Can't understand why Mom should spend the whole day just looking at a new baby. Pop is beginning to like cider, meaning the dog. Well, oh, okay, right. He could have meant the drink. That was a little confusing too. <laughs> and why did the dad not like cider till now? Maybe because he was up crying all night? I don't know. All right, let's do one more. Wednesday, September 21st. Traded my combination pen and pencil for Clint Tucker's pocket knife. Walked home with Jean Wallace and carried her books. We know there is one girl that Pompey likes. I'm squeezing for the Yankees to win the pennant. I've never heard that term before. Jean hopes that the Yankees will win too. I'm squeezing for them to win. Um, that's cute. I'm gonna start using that one. <laughs> Anyway, did you guys enjoy the good boy, bad boy this week? Let's see what happens next time. Thanks for joining me. Hey, are you ready to watch something fun with me today? If you have a few minutes, I totally, totally want to talk to you about Cannibal Girls. Cannibal Girls was filmed in 1973, and believe it or not, it's an Ivan Reitman film, which is so cool. Um, it, <laughs> it stars Eugene Levy, who you know from a million things, most recently Schitt's Creek, and um, Andrea Martin. Andrea Martin is so great. I believe they were both on SCTV, um, and Andrea Martin did um, Black Christmas as well, the um, pre-Halloween movie, and then later went on to do My Big Fat Greek Wedding, who my husband and I love her as Aunt Vula, so it's kind of cool to see her and Eugene Levy in this. Again, they were also in SCTV together, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's basically, they're this young couple. They go to this town called Farnaville and rent this little house. Rent a, they rent a room in this little house. And then they hear about this like rumor about these girls that are um, cannibals and how they're murdering people. <laughs> um, and they, they call it like this old like story, but it's actually not old at all. It's currently happening and crazy. One of the cool things in this movie um, that I've heard people complain about because they said it's not actually gory or 
all that funny. Now, I, I personally find it very entertaining, but is that there's like a, a horn sound, like an old car horn or doorbell or something like that, um, to warn you when there's like a gory or scary scene coming up. So if you want to look away or whatever, um, you know that's that's your time to do it. And that's pretty cool. Why don't they do that anymore? I love that. I guess it move. I guess it ruins the suspense, but still, I mean, that's kind of a cool thing. I think it has a lot of good humor. I love the fashion. I love the setting. I love both of the actors. They're so amazing. And um, I, I feel like it's one of those movies, like Holly always suggests, where it's it's fun. It's totally cheesy and not, um, not really a good film, if you will, even though it's Ivan Reitman. Um, but it's worth watching just to see. I think, you know, of course the Cannibal Girls are gorgeous and um, it's kind of cool to see Eugene Levy in this kind of role where he's kind of a stud. Um, I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun and a uh, total recommend from me if you have a few moments. I think it's around a 90 minute um, runtime. And did I say it was filmed in Canada? It's filmed in Canada. I love it just because I think it's a lot of fun. And I, I really like cheesy movies. I love seeing gorgeous girls in fun, old fashioned, vintage fashion. And I, I really adore Eugene Levy. So this was, um, yes, maybe there's a little crush there, but this was, this was a good one, um, for me. And I think if you're into any of these, um, old movies like I am, you would definitely be interested in this one. Thing of note, uh, Black Christmas was actually filmed in 1974, so the year after Cannibal Girls, so Andrea Martin would go on to be a part of that cast a year later, and that's like so super cool. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me once again to have fun and watch a silly movie, and I can't wait to see you next time. ready to embellish some sunglasses. Listen, you guys, I have done this so many times and I love it. I bought these little um, smiley face flowers at the craft store. They were just like with paper supplies and stuff, you know, for people at Scrapbook, um, which I like because that means they're lightweight and thin. And all I'm going to do is take the E6000 glue the back of each one of these and place it on the sides of the sunglasses. It's so simple. The only thing I will say is sometimes as they're drying, they want to slide a little bit. So you just want to keep nudging them back into place as they dry um, to kind of get them to stay. So keep an eye on them. Don't just glue them and then leave the room. You know what I mean? Um, you're going to want to glue them and then kind of keep messing with them and nudging them back into place. And eventually you'll be able to tell that they're drying and they're not going anywhere. But when they're a little wet, they kind of um, slide. So the other thing I decided to do is because these had the little holes in top, almost like they were made for um, pendant use, I took my tiny little um, rhinestones and put that over each hole so that it didn't look like something that I wasn't intending it for. It's funny since they were with scrapbook supplies that they had the little holes in the top, almost like they were a jewelry um, supply, but I don't know a lot about the world of scrapbooking, so I'm sure there's a really good reason for that. All I do know is you guys never pass up that section if you're gonna embellish something. Um, they have some of the cutest things you can use and generally they're uh, flat lay because of um, the fact that they're going on some kind of paper product. Anyway, um, here they are. I love them. I love them so much. They're just a nice uh, bit of fun. Give, give these glasses a little extra oomph and I'm ready to go. Let's go enjoy that warm summer sun and say hello to all our friends. Are you in it with me? I hope you try this as well, you guys. Have a wonderful day and let's get excited for summer. Yay! another episode. What did you think? Are you going to go watch that movie Cannibal Girls? Because it's so good. <laughs> How about the sunglasses? Are you excited to make some and wear them out tomorrow and let the sun 
shine, but you shine more. All right, then. Listen, we had a fun week. I hope that you come back next week, bring some friends. I'm sure looking forward to it and have a great week, my friends. Mwah. Next week, what will happen if D finally strikes gold? Will Raj and Mama be left out in the cold? Come back to find out. <laughs>